prolific takedown artist in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the corners. Oh, well, his boxing has been on point throughout his UFC career, and got to figure there's going to be plenty more where that came from here in this matchup. You know, this guy is such a great boxer, John, that if he decided to chase down the Olympic gold medal, you would think that he would have that opportunity. His ability to go out there and set traps, his footwork, his movement is next level. It is not something we have seen before. I would have expected to see this man in Beijing, Athens, somewhere trying to represent the country, but instead, he does his work inside the UFC's octagon, and he is special, and he is so fun for it. Heady praise from a two-time United States Olympian, Daniel Cormier. First order of business, though, tonight, winning this mixed martial arts contest. All right, with that, the wait for live action ends here. Both fighters have graced the octagon, and we are ready and raring to go. You ready to fight? Ready. Always a rowdy crowd here inside United Center in Chicago, Illinois, and tonight is no different. Great to have a major UFC live event back in the house that MJ built. Yeah, this is a massive night for the fans. The fans are always rowdy here in Chicago. They love seeing championships won, and championships are on the line tonight from the United Center. Let me see that hook now. Oh. Shots exchanged in the pocket there. Throws the tee. Push, push, push. Let me see that hook now. Inside leg kick now. Right hook to the head block. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's reach it. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. There it is. Take a shot now. Take a shot. There it is. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Choi. All right, gets inside, gets the single fire tie here. Always be closing. Busy in the clinch here. The punch is good. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Nice strike. Got the hook in quickly. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Short. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, nice uppercut, yeah. Lands the jab. Oh, he hurt a bat with the jab. Just touching him with the jab. 
Just over two minutes, round one. Straight punch, useful. Out the accuracy to land right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, how about the output for this fighter here? A lot of good time shots there, and they're all landing. Missed on the right hand. Oh, my kick. Good right hand. Oh, my goodness. Big right hand there. Throwing hard in the pocket. Try to establish that jab. Leads with the right hand. That'll work. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Under a minute now to go in round one. Nice straight there by the Korean Super Bowl. Back to the single. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. He's got to start going down. Mm, nice. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Making all these shots count. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Final seconds of the round. Oh. Round two is next. All right, buddy, take a seat. Breathe. It's okay, it's okay. You didn't do bad that round, but I need you to do better, okay? He won that round in the standing. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Four. All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played out. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, that lead right will work. Nicely done there by the Korean Super Bowl. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Straight right, he misses. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, great block there. Well, missed on that one. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Both fighters throwing heat now. 
Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Choi. Another strike gets through from the top position. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Choi's right back to the full mount. Great job landing from the top position. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Those leg kicks, man. That's his investment. His investment is in the leg kicks. That's how he slows these guys down and he breaks them down. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, man, that kick looked like it hurt. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Oh, body shot. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Back to the jab now. No good. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice, good strikes. Keep going forward. 30 seconds to go in round two. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, nice job with his kicking game there. So the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, nice. Joy gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Connects with a beautiful jab. Oh, straight punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect 
it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Let's work. We need to work. Look to the head there by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Fighter lands a kick to the leg now, and a pretty good one at that. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you got to like the output here down the stretch. And just misses with that big right hand. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh my goodness! Big left hand lands upstairs. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's past to trying to find that shot again. Well, oh! Oh, he hurt him again! That right eye's looking pretty swollen. Put your hands up, boys. Come on. Under two minutes to go in the round. Lindsay, quick jab. Well, earlier in the round, he... Oh! Oh, he's wobbled now. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, that one landed, yep. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Keep your hands up. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Use your footwork. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Set that up. Looking with the jab. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. The Korean Super Bowl. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. A little block that one. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, big knees. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Joy gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Real quick leg kick. More strikes to the head. Waning seconds here of round number three. Oh. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, back to the stools we go. And that is a really severe cut. So we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, man, that cut 
is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy figures to be busy between fights. He's going to be very busy. He's going to be very busy trying to keep this guy in the fight. His cut has gotten bad. And he has got a guy in front of him that is going to continue to target him. Joy gets caught with that punch. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Big right hand. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Controlling the fight behind that jab. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you got to call in the ringside position. It's hard to watch, John. Like, that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like this. It's disgusting. It's like Overeem's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damaged. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved out there. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Uh, yeah. I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Beautiful strike. Get your range back. Get out of there. Let's go. Move those feet. Nice job defensively. He blocked that punch. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, and he connects there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Choi's overhand punch to the head doesn't get there blocked by the defense. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working you. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. 30 seconds in the round. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. Be aggressive. Don't be stupid. You ready to fight? 
Fifth and final round, fourth coming. Big power shot there. Another punch to the head. That's good defense to get that guard up. Oh, nice jab. of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurts people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Good blocks. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Oh! He's going again! The Korean Superboy gets caught by another sidekick. Why fix it? Not broken. All right, so you see some redness on that calf. Maybe he's starting to slow down a little bit. It looks like he is. Starting to really hurt him. Nice jab by Choi. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can see that and fight two more rounds if he needs to. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect oh shot. Back to his feet. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. He's got to either go southpaw or go oh, another one. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances. To end the and back to his feet. There's the kick. Oh, swing and a miss on the counter. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offer right there. Man, look at that jab right there. If he doesn't make some adjustments, Bobby's not going to recognize him. His nose is getting also. I mean, he's getting bad. He's taking him right on the face, too. He's trying to play catch up. He's not moving his head in advance of the jab coming. This boxer is way too good to try to react to the shots opposed to getting ahead of him. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Up now and lands a big 
vicious head strike. What a fight. 25 minutes turned in. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl!